Okay. Uh, morning, everybody, or afternoon, uh, or evening. Welcome to our, our other presentation. Uh, today we will be talking about Rogerian system. Just to remember the anatomy of the Rogerian system. Uh, remember, have kidneys, ureters, uh, urinary bladder, and ureter. That are the basic things we have here. These are example of where it should be located the kidneys, the ureters. Hmm? This is a sample of, of the different uh, as a system from female and male. Hmm? So what is important here, in the case of female, the urinary bladder is anterior to the uterus, so you can see there. Okay? The uterus is located between, localized between the urinary bladder and the colon. So just to remember, to which is I know you, you know this already, the function urinary system, the hemostatic regulation of blood plasma, vitamin letters of fluid from blood, excretion and elimination. That's the main, those are the main, the, main function of urinary system. So what kind of study we can do, we can request in uh, ur urinary system? The first thing is, is ultrasound. Ultrasound is a more important study in this case. Remember, it's cheaper and easy to do it. It's cheaper and easy to do it. And you can get your answer just, just 30 minutes before you request, okay? This is very important. So first ultrasound, then we have playing as rays. In this case, we have kidneys, ureta, and bladder, the QV. We have contrast studies. In contrast studies, we have a variety of contrast studies. We have uh, IVU, hmm? Cistoran, Cistoran, Retoran, Retrograde, Retoran, Retrograde, Pylorophy, and Antere Uloran. We also have a CT scan, MRI, Arteriography, Nuclear Studies, and Last Renal Biosis. And we have also more studies, but I think they are the principal ones we have to know. So in case of ultrasound, remember uh, ultrasound, there is no radiation in it. We use a, a sound wave, okay, to create an image. We can see the kidneys in real time, okay? So we're able to assess the rate, the both kidney, like I say, we have to see the adrenal glands. Hmm? Uh, we have to assess the bladder and prostate, or bladder and prostate, okay? In case for the in case of men, in case of women, we also can assess the uterus, the uterus, and for males also. Last one is scrotal, so a scrotal ultrasound. So this is a sample of ultrasound when you want to see. I will put in more material about this one, so you can understand better because it's ultrasound become like a routine all these days, and um, X-rays become like a routine. If some X-rays or you can see the hospital empty, but always the always lab and um, X-rays are full because it's like a routine. So ultrasound X-rays become a, as a routine checkout of 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 all type of patients. For the reason you have to emphasize and uh, learn this uh, very carefully. So you can see there's a few pictures about different type of diseases. Hmm? In, in in the renal system, we were talking more about, about this practical or practical session. So also, I will put the most bit about this once you go out the time better when you request for ultrasound and get your report. When you get your report, you know what you are reading and you have a general idea what happened, what happened with the patient. So this is our sample for ultrasound. So you have the bladder, which you remember is is fluid, blood is fluid. You remember is Antichoic, you remember that from our first selection. Mm -hmm. We have calculus with a uh, opaque, depending opaque and this phrase, but in the ultrasound, they are hyper echoic. Hyper echoic. Okay. Um, like I said, we will talk more about this one. Do you remember, this is only orientation class. Mm -hmm. You have to go more deep in this in, in those areas. So Let's go to start with the X-rays now. So we have a KUV or kidney ureter and bladder X-ray. 
This is a reposita that assesses the organs of the urinary system and gastrointestinal system. This is look like a abdominal, simple abdominal x-ray, okay? Simple abdominal x-ray. And these are the indications where you have to know very well. So these are example of KUV. You can see a stone there, this is already opaque. In your left is a normal KUV, in your right you can see, remember how to, to describe a dominant X-ray. So in the middle we have uh, this stone, which is a mark with the arrow, hmm? you see already there is a stone the kidney, and this another uh, stack home calculus, stack home calculus, you see going on, is occupying the whole uh, renal system. In this case, it's complete Stahun calculus. So this is another Stahun calculus which is incomplete. You can see there is no fissure between the calyces and the pelvis, so this one is incomplete. This is another sample. We have stem here. Now it is stem or bypass. Hmm? Stem or bypass. Okay, so this was a patient with a ureteral obstruction, so they passed this uh, tube between the bladder through the ureta and reach the kidney. So the patient can do the discretion. The patient can do the discretion perfectly. Okay. And there is another calculus in the urinary bladder on your right. Now let's go to talk more about the more requested or more important study uh, when you talk about x rays or contra x ray fluoroscopy in case of the region or the urinary system with the intravenous urora or pylora. Intravenous urora or pylora. We call it IVU. In my cases, so in Ghana, IVU. Every way to get about intravenous urea. Okay, so it's a radiology study in which intravenous injection of radio paid contrast or you contrast. Mm -hmm. It's clear, remember the contrast in our fellation. We use a positive a iodine contrast, which is positive. Iodine contrast, which is positive. Okay, in this case, we use urography. Urography and that contrast medium is excreted by the kidneys with the visualization of the renal pelvis and urinary tract. These are the indications which you have to know very well as well. You have to put these indications in your side of your brain. And these are a sample of the IVU. Okay. In your number one, you can see the like KUV S ray. The second you can see the uh, this is five minutes after injection of the contrast, you can see the how the calyces and the pelvis are drafted, okay, with the contrast. The superior part of two letters. Then in the normal tray, which is about 15 minutes after the injection, we have you can see the you can see the whole system hmm, of kidney, of ureters, and the urinary blood. In, in the fourth spray, so you can see uh, the full urinary blood. Okay. Uh, here, because it's fluoroscopy, we use the same terminology. Remember, at this ad 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 abdominal fluoroscopy. You have to do for diabetic clone, for filling the fat, for a stretcher. And for ulceration, the same thing. You are contra study on a fluoroscopy, you have to do that. So you can see in the there is a example of malformation. You can see in the face on your left, the right renal agenesis, there is no contrast. You can the right kidney is not visible at all. And uh, in your left, you can see the duplicated pyrocalyza sitting and ureter. You can see there is two pyrocalyza sitting and two ureters hmm? uh, bilaterally in this case. So, the one uh, sample of the diseases we have to see is filling the fat in the urinary bladder, which is where the presence of yeah, in the presence of bladder tumor. And then, like you can see, there is a this uh, circular outpushing of the renal bladder we are the present on diabetic group. Okay. Another study is we have cisto ureteran. Mm -hmm. You can see here cisto ureteran is to study the urinary bladder. A part of that is a sample cisto ureteran and then how in this case is the map. Okay. We watch we also can visualize mm -hmm. the the uretra. Another example is the retrograde uretra. Retrograde uretra. You can see the different path of the uretra. We put the contrast. 
through the penis, which is what I call the urethra, and the contra had to reach the original urethra. Okay. And you can see they have different structures of stenosis for the urethra. You can see the uh, different grade. Okay, so this uh, study, the only study we know we can find this diagnosis. Okay, this is an example of retrograde pyrography. So the rich in subcytoscopy, the, the urinary blood, and then the past stain through both ureter and rich both both uh, kidneys. Another kind of studies we have uh, MRI. So MRI, CT scan, we can do arteriography, hmm? like this one, this is another arteriography with some batteries and many more, okay? So I think that is all for now, and see you in the next class. Remember that to check for the more materials down. Hmm? We will be posting more materials so you can understand better about the urogenital system, okay? Bye.